Hello everyone and welcome to the testing of rovers that we've managed to build with all the research points we've acquired so far in our KSP career mode. This is our test one, the first rover that I built on this uh, on this career mode. And you can see it's, uh, these are the best wheels in my opinion, but uh, I don't know, there's something wrong with the balance of it. I, I don't know what it was, but I took it for a drive across Kerbin and uh, just to see how good it was and if, once you reach a certain speed it becomes really unstable you can see I'm going really fast I did think there would be some useful science we could get from the beach here so I thought I'd give it a go got a little atmosphere analysis uh, tool on board I've got all the mod cons we've got seismometers and temperature probes and everything but it didn't go so well so we moved on to our Mark II rover or well it's basically the same rover without the atmosphere analysis tool. You can see just on the top there, I brought a mystery goo module. And I thought, we'll land this bad boy on Minmus. We'll be able to decouple it, no problem. And uh, drive across the surface, see if we can pick up any valuable science data. Uh, besides the fact, it's really good fun driving rovers. You know, something miniature that you've built. The only problem I have, and I wouldn't mind some help if any of you have got any tips and tricks on this was how the hell do you attach them to rockets in a way that makes them easy to get off uh, once you've landed because with this bad boy as you'll find out I, I struggled remarkably trying to decouple it and launch it off now it didn't quite have the tools I needed or I didn't put them on uh, in order to try and use some sort of rocket propellant Oh, well, I did use rocket propellant, but it didn't seem to have the control necessary. Perhaps I needed RCS. Uh, I didn't know what it was, but once we land this bad boy, landing's not the problem. Minmus is really, really easy to land on. But uh, as I say, getting it off the top of this little baby rocket, I tried to make the rocket as small as possible so it wouldn't have so far to sort of fall and uh, become drivable on the surface. But for some reason, it didn't go so well, so we landed job done I'm thinking that's the hard part over with no no the hard part is decoupling it you can see I decouple it try and fly off I think yeah I'm driving down oh god it tips over there's no way of writing the bloody thing once you get there so I'm struggling I'm struggling it's like a stranded turtle lying on its back or one of them little wood lice whatever you call them from wherever you're from the little gray bugs with loads of legs if you put them on their back they struggle to get up that's what my car was like so I thought, all right, we'll try it again. And you just got to keep trying, because I knew at some point I'd be able to apply, apply the right thrust in order to get it off. And here you go. It, it tries to do some sort of gymnastics. So I, I think, yeah, it's going to stick the landing. This isn't the Olympics, Rover. Come on, just land on your freaking wheel so I can take you for a test drive. Nope. Failed again. So I, luckily I quick saved, so I can keep loading the quick save and trying it again. I thought this would be invaluable, because if I can make a workable rover that I can actually decouple and uh, take to various different planets, imagine the size data I'd be able to get then. So we do another attempt, and I've landed on my front wheels, and I think if I just burn fast enough in this direction, tilt my wheels a little bit, maybe it will work. No. Temp attempt number three was a failure, so we take our time. Attempt number four, go a little bit more gently on the rockets and it starts to tilt I don't know why it started to tilt but again we go for the Olympic landing can he stick it this time will it be a 9.0 oh boom and we land and we land are we gonna make it onto our wheels just trying to control the the, the steering and the you know the center of mass etc etc we're nearly there come on gravity oh and it pulls me onto my front and I'm like yes we finally landed it Sure, we knocked our rocket over in the process, but there's is there a way of attaching the rocket, uh, the car, back to the rocket? I don't think there is, is there? If there is, please let me know, because that would be fantastic if I could bring it back. Because that diminishes the amount of science I can get, so I just beam it back. By the way, do one of the... Do one of the antenna, like, allow you to beam back more complete science. So here we go, I have a go at driving across the surface. Once I got landed... I figure, come on, it can't be that difficult. I know gravity's really low here and everything, but the, these wheels don't seem to have any grip. They're quite frankly ludicrous wheels. So I speed up and just see how far we can go on this thing. And that literally has no grip because it's it's trying to accelerate, but 
not getting any purchase on the surface. Maybe it's this particular surface we're on. If I landed somewhere else on Mimus, maybe I would have more luck. I don't know. But eventually we lose control. I'm like, God damn it, because I have not got the patience. One thing Reinstein does not possess is patience to try and control uh, this thing for so long to drive to where I want to drive at a slow speed. There we go. We get stuck like a stranded turtle again. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please join me on the next episode.